kasi with coach topics it was very simple he only had one rule naman eh. it was it was always gonna be use your best judgment in the game so it's not very complicated kung sa tingin mo kailangan mo tumira di tumira ka kailangan mo ipasa pasa mo pero pag nagkamali ka tsaka ka na papagalitan ganun so hindi ka maraming iniisip so i guess that's one thing also that we all bought in na whoever's in the game if you feel like shooting it shoot it nobody will get mad So yun yung isang malaking factor that that I really appreciated during that conference because if I don't know if you notice jan dito, dito pa lang ako nag-start magtira ng three points di ba? Na, yeah. The my whole career I never really shot three. So kasi before I would always be scared somebody would say something, si ganito, ganyan sabihin. Eh medyo people pleaser ako eh na parang hindi ko na hindi ko na lang gagawin. Gagawin ko na lang yung mga normally ginagawa ko sa game. And then, yun, with with that one simple rule, medyo everybody uh, kind of adapted to it easily. Na parang walang walang star player, walang bangko. Lahat tayo pantay-pantay. So, pagpasok ng game, kung anong utos ng coach or ng, ng coaching staff, lahat kami sumusunod. So, like you said, there's one game off the bench si Matt. And who would imagine bench like putting Matt off the bench, di ba? Parang balyo ka naman siguro para gawin mo yun. But it worked on our favor because may game plan kami. There's a reason naman why we did that. Hindi naman yung parang, uy, bangko ka na lang, off the bench ka lang, ganun, di ba? So, yeah. Parang it was very easy to trust the coaching staff because they're pretty black and white with us. Like ako, ang dami naming moments ni Coach Topics na nag-uusap kami. Like, Siyempre, outside basketball also, we would always talk. And then, during the games or pag pre-games, siyempre, sinasabi niya sa akin yung mga plano niya, ano plano sa game na to. So, it was very an open book. So, lahat kami. Ganon din yung relationship with him. So, yun nga, with Matt. Obviously, tinanong niya muna si Matt. Matt, okay lang ba sa'yo? Ganyan, ganyan. And then, Matt said, Coach, kung ano gusto mo gawin, gawin mo. Ako, tanggap ko yung tanggapin ko kung ano yung sasabihin mo. So, doon pa lang, syempre, nung ginawa niya yun, sino pa ba kami para magreklamo, di ba? Eh, yung star player nga namin, tinanggap yung pinagawa ni coach. Eh. So, yun na yun. Doon na nag, doon na yung parang nawala na yung parang star player bang po. Ganun. Lahat kami equal. Ganun. So, yung day, yung day nga na hindi nag-start si Matthew, I think yun yung game na tinambakan kayo ng Magnolia, tama ba? Tapos hinabol hinabol nyo? Yun ba? Baka, baka, baka yun yung game na yun. Bas, pero parang yun nga, na di ko alam kung gumana ba yung game plan na yeah, namin. Kasi, kasi tapak na ka, di ba? Yeah, 24 yata, biggest lead ng Magnolia. Remember, parang yun yung favorite game ko of Phoenix in the bubble. Parang down 24, tapos fourth, third, fourth lang kayo humabol. Puro three points nga nila, Matt. So, yung game na yun, do you think that really propelled you guys to uh, su- succeed and reach the semis. Because that was the last game Abueva didn't play, yata, if I remember correctly. And then, to, syempre, come back, tapos umiyak pa si Coach Tobex dun sa post-game yung naalala ko. So, how was yeah. the team after that win and for the future games when Abueva came back? Syempre, na, nabuhayan kami nun. Kasi, I think we came off a two-game losing streak, eh. We lost to Inebra and Token Text before that Magnolia game. So if we lost that one pa, medyo grabe na yung three games, di ba? So, yun nga. Parang when we were losing, walang, walang sisihan eh. There was no panic button. Parang, hey guys, we're, we're fine. We're okay. We're gonna be... Coach Topics to, we're fine. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna win this game. And then, we just took it one game at a time. Like one practice at a time. So, I guess that win against Magnolia... Medyo yun nga, naging solid kami lalo. Kasi alam namin, Calvin's coming na eh. And then Alex is coming also. So parang, eh, ito nga, yung mga teams na to, natalo natin, wala sila. What if, pagparating pa sila, di ba? So mas lalo kami lalakas pa. So, ito sa moral booster, to be honest. Tapos coming from behind pa, tapos winning pa, parang ganun. So, yeah. Yeah, that was really good. Kasi nung bumalik kasi Abueva, I think you started winning the NLEX and then I, I don't remember the order pero di ba NLEX yung first tapos nag semis tapos Magnolia na naman ulit yung katapat yeah, yun. Magnolia na naman yun pala yeah. yung favorite game sorry second favorite kayo humabol kayo kasi yung favorite ito yung nag one-legged three si Basti yeah. for the win yeah. so 
yung game rin na yun, medyo defensive battle yun. Kasi 89-88 lang yata yung final score. Parang low scoring. So, ano yung key to that match na sa game plan ni Coach Topex that, you know, made you made you guys win since you guys followed it pretty sure. Kaya na lang. I guess it that yung yun nga, yung after nung first Magnolia game, yun na yung nag-propel din sa amin all throughout eh. Lalo na pag natatambakan kami. There would always be that one coach na, oh, nung itong game nga, tambak tayo, nanalo pa tayo, but hindi natin gawin ngayon. And during that game in the quarters, alam ko lamang din Magnolia all the way, di ba? Habol lang kami ng habol. Oh. So, yung yung fight sa team namin, di, parang hindi na nawawala. Yun yung kulang namin the few conferences. Eh. Lagi kaming natatalo sa dulo, laging bumibigay. So, like I said, learning experience from the past, past years also that we were losing close games. So, yun, yun, yun. Kasi we were the same group of players pa rin naman eh. Yeah. So, parang hindi na kami nagpapanik during those situations, so, which is a very big deal talaga. Yeah. Sabi nga yata ni Paul Lee sa isang show na parang when Matthew shot it, nagdasal na lang daw siya kasi sure shot na talaga yun pag open, nadula si Baroque. Lahat, lahat kami nagulat na lang siya. Oh, lahat ng na ng na shoot niya, lahat kami gulat na gulat eh kasi parang shit, parang na rebound lang tapos nag tumalikod pa siya tapos yeah. 'di ba? Cross over tapos one leg. So he, for, he forgot the I shot clock those, though. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Si yeah. never naman niya pinraktis yun eh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So parang siguro na instinct na lang niya na, uy, yeah. parang ito na ata yung best shot possible. Saka I was pretty sure he wasn't gonna pass the ball naman eh. Oo. Oh, it was okay. it was it was for him na talaga. Yeah. So ako ready na ako to rebound doon pag na-miss niya. <laughs> yeah. Pwede para wala mag rebound, 6 seconds pa yata yeah. noon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you saw the clip nga eh, parang nung tinira niya pumasok na agad ako eh. Sabi ko shit, baka makuha ko pa or what. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So, yung sad lang kasi I was cheering for you guys against TNT. First game pa lang si Matthew na injure. And you said in Mikey Reyes' show, God, it was the biggest what-if of the bubble. So, yeah. nung game one, natalo yata kayo. Pero si RJ Hasul, Heruela, and all those. And including you, Perkins. Perkins din nasugatan yata nung game one. You guys yeah, all yeah. stepped up. Kasi Abueva was also in foul trouble. So, nung whole series, medyo nahihirapan kayo. And Matthew was there, pero hindi as best as he could, I guess, in terms of his conditioning. So, how did you guys adjust for that series in, against TNT, which is star-studded? Uh, yun nga, when Matthew came down with that injury, and then, ito, the whole game won. Ah. Parang we still managed to fight. And then, we lost by, what, two points? Yeah. Two top and yeah. After that game, hindi kami malungkot eh. Kasi parang, imagine mo, nawalan ka na ng star player. Tapos, you still had the chance to win against this star-studded team. So parang kami, parang we were very optimistic na kaya natin sila. Kaya natin sila matalo, ganun. And which happened, di ba? We won game two. Matt didn't play sparingly lang. He was still injured. Game three talaga siya bumalik. And then we won. So parang kami, parang... Guys, imagine if Matt didn't get injured, if he won game one, could have tapos na yung series. Yung mga ganun, di ba? And then, yun nga, we lost game four. And then, I think when we lost game four, parang, shit, doon na kami na parang medyo ano na to, medyo crucial talaga yung game five, ganun. And then, doon na lumabas yung, yung superiority nila sa amin, di ba? Kasi, siguro, mas, they were still in, uh, they were in shape or they had a great game plan, parang ganun. Doon lumabas yung pagka-championship caliber team nila. Eh. Parang, yeah. It was a fair, fair loss. Yung pagiging close nung Phoenix, na halata din nung bubble, even nung paalis yata kayo, everyone wanted to take a picture na kayo yung pinaka-close bonded team. Mayroon ba kayo mga ginagawa off the court that really solidified like the bond among you guys? Kasi special talagang mahalata mo kahit well, fan. Talaga. Well, aside from Aside from having like team activities like team lunch, team dinners, ganon, I think ano rin, yung mga vets sa team namin was very, very important kasi they would bring us together. Parang, for example, si JC tsaka si Kuya JR, they would always have great food in the room. They would invite everybody to come over. So yung mga simpleng bagay na ganon was uh-huh. very big for us kasi 
un- unknowingly, oy, sama-sama na naman tayo lahat, ah. sabay-sabay tayo kumakain, ganun. And then, meron din, we would, on our off days, we would play poker as yeah, uh, yeah. a team also. So, all those team stuff na we, we did, I don't think other teams did it eh. Parang may kanya-kanya silang grupo or may kanya-kanya Uh-oh. silang ginagawa. Yeah. Kami, parang sobrang dami namin activities na puta, lahat kami nasa pool. Parang mga ganon. Mm-hmm. That's where you can see na everybody's buying into the team concept. Diba? Yeah. Walang, ah, ayoko. Di ako punta dyan. Mga ganon. Mm-hmm. 